Hey everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. We're now asking some additional questions. In the arrest warrant related to what happened to Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly, I have a whole series, so you can check that out in the description box. But there was a person by the name of Paul mentioned, and he was mentioned by uh, Cora's daughter, the 16-year-old young lady, that this Paul guy was a part of this whole thing, but he hasn't been arrested. So I have to say this, and I thank you all for your understanding. Um, everybody mentioned is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And yeah. All right. Let's ask, is Paul involved? Yeah. Paul is involved. At first, I'll say, I was thinking that maybe, you know, Cora's daughter is like saying that this guy is involved because Cora is like embellishing and looping in other people and maybe he's not involved. But the Page of Wands is a yes card. To this question and it just it gives me this energy of kind of like a little immature for your age and definitely I don't know follower energy would do what it takes but more on a peripheral level with the page of wands not nearly as significant as the other characters but now that we know that there's some involvement allegedly, what's the extent of his involvement? And why hasn't law enforcement why hasn't law enforcement arrested him? Okay. Alright, so this is Ten of Air, Ten of Swords. And you see the keyword on this deck. It says destruction. Now, this could be about him being a part. You look at all these little birds here, these vultures standing. There's a carcass here. He's seen all of this going on so he's like bearing witness and he may he may be doing different little things to help along with what happened um yeah he definitely has a deep level of involvement but i don't know if law enforcement feels they have enough like this is kind of shaky energy this is the seven of cups seven of water they're having to piece everything together law enforcement and there's some critical information about what happened that paul may have bear witness to see the direction Facing, willing to be there. I don't know. It's just. Mm. And I know that Tiffany has admitted fault. I just have a sense that there's going to be some theatrics and theatrical aspects of this case. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. So, so far we've got, well, this was the first Oracle card that jumped. Health issues, natural causes. Hmm. I'll have to sit with that one for a moment. We have inside. Inside of what? Inside job. Inside knowledge. Physical location of inside. Maybe he's very in close proximity to everything that's happened. 
premeditated planned. He's a part of the plan. He's, you know, very much in there. But this runaway card to me symbolizes that, well, I don't know. Where is he? Actually, is he in town? Does anyone know? Where is he? Is he having to be protected? As is he have is he having some assistance moving out of town? I don't know. Let me see. He hasn't been arrested because law enforcement just kind of feels like it's like he has some information and ooh, that corroborates a key witness. Okay, so we have crossing borders. Hmm. Could he be crossing borders? His earlier readings, it was coming up, someone was crossing borders. And I said, oh, someone could be leaving, flight risk even, I don't know, leaving, travel. Page of Wands. But that doesn't mean that he is doing that like on the run. Okay, it could be, I don't know, he's being helped. He's across the border, and you know, these, this incident occurred in a little tri-state area. So Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, they're like all like connected and close. So it's easy to cross borders. I don't know. Weeks. Maybe this is just speaking to in the weeks ahead. We're going to hear more. Later part of spring. With the Page of Wands up to 11 weeks, maybe we hear more or less about what's going on with this guy. Because people are going to really start to raise the alarm, like, why wasn't he arrested? And at some point, we'll hear more. And he could have been, I don't know, I feel like some kind of corroboration of something. Because maybe law enforcement knows that some of these People may not go away easily into the night, and we could be facing trials, which sucks for the family. Even though Tiffany has admitted on a recorded statement that she is responsible. We have unknown to police, not in the system, clean record. I don't know if this guy has a record or not. And then we have seasoned criminal system knowledge, repeat offender. Huh. Hold on. Well, I'll just say this. He's involved. I mean, Ten of Swords is kind of brutal, like bearing witness. And for some reason, they don't have con concrete like information or and or he's corroborating we have two or more in twins i don't know and mental jail and man so like law enforcement having him you know it's not like he's out of their sights and it's just a matter of time before we hear more information about paul all right, I'm going to pause here and move these cards over. Or maybe just take a picture, and then we're going to move to the next questions. All right, be right back. In summary, there's something about him witnessing in this feeling very fluid, like the law enforcement doesn't have a good handle on this particular person, Paul. He has some information that corroborates with maybe a witness who's not in the system, okay? Clean record, not in the system, unknown to police. Or, I mean, I don't know if he has a criminal record or not. I don't know Paul's information, and I'm not going to go looking around for it. But seasoned criminal system knowledge repeat offenders. So, he knows maybe it's him knowing something about someone in this whole mix, this gang of folk um, that's done something that I don't know. And he has the clean record. Something about crossing borders in the weeks in the past. And maybe this is about 
He wasn't at the in the beginning stages of this planning. He came in weeks within the planning. And this also could speak to the future of something coming up in the weeks ahead. And health issues, natural causes. I'm not quite sure what that could mean. Other than like maybe he's going through something or someone close to him is going through something. I don't know. Or maybe in the future, something happening to him or someone close. I will see, have to see how this one unfolds. Two or more, more people involved, partners in crime. So this is about Paul, twins, Two-Face. I don't know. So more to come with this guy I sense. More to come. So now we can move on to the next questions. Before we move on, I decided to omit the questions about did Jillian and Veronica fight back and what happened to them. And here's why. It's sometimes hard for me to even go there out of respect, you know, and I just feel like that information is going to be coming when, you know, the autopsy report is complete. And when we start to hear a lot more about the details of what happened, whether the, what is it, Tiffany, whether she allocutes or not, whether she really admits fault, I just feel like it's the language of how she's like portraying this whole energy of I took responsibility. I don't know. That just that sits weird with me. I don't know. So we're going to see, you know, because people could say, well, I didn't have an attorney at the time. And I felt compelled to say something. I mean, yeah. and if it's a DP case, I would imagine that it has to go through some sort of like Checks and balances. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just shuffling my decks, y'all. We're going to just move right along. I want to ask about what evidence does law enforcement have that they're not releasing yet? <laughs> Forever. We'll say yet. Okay, Nine of Air Interference. Nine of Swords. Look at that. Look at that three of swords, three of air. Eek. Sorry, I should have did a warning. Like, oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. It's something to do about what happened to... interested in hearing what you all think this is saying government fear okay they have a lot that's what I get a sense of they have a lot of intelligence data information um Maybe even oh, the methods of which these ladies were hurt and tortured. I mean, so they have law enforcement has a lot of that kind of tracking information. And yes, they have information about where the bodies were recovered. Sure. But in that with the I'm sensing like even here, this is reminding me of like with the prelim says to them the preliminary autopsy like what was really going on thank god they found the women when they did 
signs. Not quite sure. Now this is interesting. Missing. Baby, building a new case. Maybe this is literally about someone being pregnant. I don't know. Yikes. Ugh. It doesn't always translate to a new baby, you guys. I'm just letting you know that. Sometimes it could mean new evidence or a new direction or a new, like maybe a cold case that's got renewed energy or something else that was buried. Look. Or evidence key around them being buried, like that key information. But the baby card does sometimes come out literally about a child or an infant or a fetus or something like that. Maybe even an embryo. I don't know. But you catch my drift. It could be metaphorical or it could be literal. All right. We have government and military. Interesting. Following the signs. Okay. Fear. Who was living in fear? Who's living in fear now? This is information that law enforcement ha like is keeping back. More evidence about the plot of making these ladies be go missing. Huh. Fear. They really, there's evidence about, I don't know. It, yeah, like torture. We have manipulation, like who all was doing the manipulating in this and who was being manipulated. I feel like, what's his face, Paul? Yeah, he is kind of peripheral, not a mastermind, definitely manipulated, okay, in my intuitive hit, in my opinion, okay, allegedly, all alleged, but yeah, there you go. M for hire. So finding out more information on maybe of past hits, not just on these ladies, but on other people. Like that information is being held back as of now. How drama filled it was. We know that the custody situation is going to be on front and center. And there's a lot more that's hidden about the drama. Yes, a lot has leaked out to the public, which is like, whoa. But let me tell you, there is. More to come. More to come about the past. How drama filled it really, really was. How devastatingly sad it was on Veronica's end. And then this card is also saying of what's to come. Okay? Drama. Weapons. I'm glad this card came up because, not because weapons are involved, because in the opening oracle reading I did, this card came up. And I kept wondering, like, well, surely they would just have been shot or, I don't know, like weapons. Well, turns out there was stun guns and Lord knows what else. There was like now there's allegedly a hammer involved. I mean, there probably was some gun action. We know Jillian had a gun and that's missing from the scene. So weapons, more information about that. Oh, it could be even more information about, I will touch on this. I do get a sense that the ladies fought. You see that look on her face? They did. They fought for their life. They were in fear. It wasn't like, oh, they were blindsided and they attacked them and whatever. No, it really felt like, like a showdown. For me, lack of a better word, I don't know. So that's what I have. And that's what law enforcement is. They have a lot of information. I mean, government and military, we can touch on this. What I will say is there could be some low level mm, squirreliness going on and evidence of that and how to approach that with all the eyes of the nation and even some parts of the world who are looking at how this Law enforcement body handles all of this. So they have to be very careful, um, you know, the optics of it all. Them investigating the small town situation. I don't know. It, you know, let me know respectfully. What do you think 
in the comment section what this card can mean. If you're following this case or maybe you watch this video a few months down the line and you update us, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. So I don't know. I'm going to sit with these. Oftentimes, you all, yes, you're seeing the first flush of me seeing these cards. I do the readings and then I take the pictures and I look at them and I'm like, huh. And I sit with them and I study them and I'm like, what? What did this mean? That's why I do the look backs. I've started doing look backs to kind of gauge what's going on. But yeah, so this is that question. And I'm going to do one more question, which is what's next? Um, for the investigation and the prosecution. So I'm going to take a picture of this spread, move all the cards, and we're going to do that last question for this video. Last part, question number three. What's next for the investigation and prosecution of the name suspects, at least? What's next? All right, so we have someone coerced the killer into murdering the victim. Okay. So we know that it's been going on at a group level, a gang-like level between these folks. So you're going to hear a bit more about each of the players' roles as more information comes out. Now, I think the reason why Paul may be, you know, they're approaching him a little differently is because he may have some information um, some additional information because I think law enforcement is gearing up and the prosecution is gearing up for the for the court proceedings. There will be court proceedings. We have surveillance cameras may provide important clues. We're talking about surveillance at these properties, at these at the the place where um, where. Um, he was running from Tad. I don't know why I keep forgetting that man's name. Tad, the one with the long beard. He was renting the property. There's some information. There's some surveillance videos. There's like surveillance, maybe capturing people at the store, buying the stun guns. You know who you are, allegedly. Getting your little burner phones down at the old, was it my Walmart? I don't know. It was, mm -mm. so there's going to be more information to come as is about forensic science field will provide important clues so forensics so they're going to have all the dynamics i just think because of what's at stake here with their lives on the line you know with the dp i just i feel like there's just more ruckus to come you would think that if one of them quote unquote you know took responsibility that that means something temperance okay that's a positive outcome card of you know equilibrium and balance and i can read that as a form of justice so that's wonderful to see temperance is a good sign ah <sighs> what's next for law enforcement and the investigation mother of air mm -mm. Son of water. Oh. I instantly think of what's her face? Tiffany and Tad. <laughs> Except these folks are like, I don't know, really good looking. But not that I'm taking any jabs, but maybe I am a little. They just look like, wow. I don't know. Anywho. Let's see what else is coming up with the investigation and the prosecution. Okay, a cover up. All right, and I'm going to share something with you all in a moment. Timeline is going to be important. We're going to hear more about the timeline. Um, and this is also giving us timing too about things. So the more to come in the days ahead even. Okay, we're going to hear a little bit more. 
not a whole lot, but Son of Water is like mm, 12 days or so. So we'll hear more. But movement, more movement in the summertime. So like midsummer. And then ultimately things kind of progressing along in about, oh, like maybe in its totality, like at least 13 months going forward. In the season of winter, mid to late winter, this coming year, progress, movement. I know. I was hoping that if she's going to, you know, but I just don't feel like it's going to be that simple. Well, let me know what you all think. Do you think she's, it's just going to, like, proceed quickly? Um, what do you think? I want one more of this deck and I'll show you. So we're going to have some info coming. And that's a great sign. We know that, right? They've got a rest. There's more. There's so much more. There's a cover up. And it's not just this. When I first did the opening oracle readings on this case, what drew me to doing this whole series and getting to the last part that I'm about to record tomorrow and check it out. It's about Cole's history. And in the opening Oracle reading, I mentioned that the Cole case card could mean that this unlocks something about some other unrelated case. I've just felt it in my being and I couldn't shake it. And so that's the reason why I keep on poking at this this whole reading, like, because there's a lot of dark energy with this case that's really sad and depressing. However, I want to do a reading with regards to Cole's son. His adult son had a mysterious death. I don't know too many details about it, but I want to see energetically, did he die of mysterious circumstances on Cole's property? And, allegedly, and the... Um, the whole situation with his brother who's running for sheriff, county sheriff. And it was there. One of the vehicles that was involved in all this was registered to Cole's brother, who's the sheriff, you know. So in that opening Oracle reading, I sensed that there was like low level, like, I don't want to call it full on corruption, but let's just call it cover up energy. How about that? Cover up energy. So there's more to come about that with the investigation. Known to us or not known to us. It could be known to like people closest to it. Hmm. But bank records could be exploring, you know, bank transactions, payments, going to certain people who or what, being coerced by what. Promises of money, money. This also could just be just seeing bank records, seeing times and dates of transactions, creating, where is it? A timeline. Mm, timeline. We're going to get a lot more information in the coming um, days, weeks, and months ahead about some key information with that. So it's not just going to be forensics. It's not going to just be these people's statements or the, or the, I'm assuming she's a star witness, if not someone who is an actual witness to the crimes. That could be where Paul falls and comes in. Needs medical attention. I don't know what that could mean. That could be future related. That could be, um, that could be finding out that someone needed medical attention. And that's like, I don't know, added charges? Like, I don't know. This could be about a future happening. We'll have to see what that plays out to. Propaganda. Maybe there's going to be a lot of propaganda that these folks are like absorbing in their brains and that we find out more about that. Like what exactly is going on? How did they get to this point of doing this? Because really you can have a motive of revenge. Yes, it's control. But it's also revenge for daring to fight. Veronica dared to fight her ex's mom. Okay, so 
she stood up. And so it wasn't just about control and wanting to keep the kids, although that's going to be the little story that Tiffany comes up with. However, it don't get it twisted. It's some form of revenge with Tiffany. So that could be the element that she could be trying to hide. It makes it even darker when you think about it. A lot darker. Because you can almost be like, oh, well, the heat of the moment. But there was so much planning that we saw that earlier with the premeditated card. That's just another reminder. We have burial and grave. Well, oh, I don't know, pictures, they're going to have evidence, like video of this grave. It's not, this is why I would really hope that, and we should pray and maybe send some energy, positive, loving energy towards their families and the communities, that hopefully there's not a, a messy old trial, you know. But I just get a sense we're good, it's, it's just not going to be pretty. And then light hair color. Not quite sure what this means, maybe one of the ladies who are involved. Sometimes it's interesting when later on time happens, life is happening, the trial is underway or what have you. Who knows? And I look at a car and I'm like, oh, that's what you meant. I didn't even know that, you know, at the time. So I'm not going to even worry about like trying to really interpret this. Okay. So yeah. And I do like to touch on timing, but we have pretty much. There's just... Initially, a little bit more information eking out within a week or days, as I said, several days. <laughs> but not anytime soon for a resolution. Full moon, got full cycle of something like, don't, like, mm, I don't know, a phase. A pink moon. When's the next pink moon? Was it just now? I can't remember. I think it was. Well, anyways, it's going to be a while. Not anytime soon. And we know that. February is of significance. February is of significance. That came up from my little this time oracle. It came up in one of the opening readings, I believe. And then it turned out there's a lot of planning going on in February and a lot of evidence of it. And this could also signify something coming up in the future, in February in the future. And that makes sense with the Queen of Air over here, or Mother of Air in this deck. Yeah. So we'll have some movement. We'll get developments. Ultimately, we're going to, I sense, get justice. It's going to be a while, but that's okay. There will be justice for her loved ones and the greater community. And her, I mean, both the ladies. I'm going to now wrap it up here. I'm going to clean up these cards so I can take my picture. There's not much I really want to add or explore for now. Like I said, I'm going to do another part, probably the last part for a while, to delve into um, Cole's background about the mysterious death of his young adult son and just what else could this card mean? Not just solely on Cole, but I am going to explore some other aspects with this card. If you think of any questions that you like me to cover and ask during the readings, leave a comment below and let me know what you think is coming up next in terms of developments or intuitive hits on what else you think the cover-up card could mean. What do you think about this card, the motive of revenge? Oof. And yeah, this also makes me upset because this card kept coming up throughout all of the videos I've recorded. It's very persistent. So we have our, our spreads for now. I will touch base and I probably will have to come back to that cover up again at some point in the future. But after I'm done with this next and final part, and please stay tuned for it, I will be um, taking a break from this case and be a bystander like all of you. You know what I'm saying? All right, friends, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Do me a favor on your way out. Hit the 
like button and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you all are taking very good care of yourselves. I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.